What's up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a very quick look at some RGB LED tubes and it's these ones by Nanguang, they're called the Pavo Light. Now they come in two sizes, we've got this two foot one and also behind me there we've got the four foot one. Now before we get into the feature set of these lights, I just want to point out one of the most attractive things, really the thing that caught my eye when I was looking at these lights when they were released and that is their price. The two foot one is around about 260 pounds whilst the four foot one is around about 360. So in terms of lighting fixtures, straight off the bat, these are incredibly good value. Now feature wise, each of these lights are pretty much identical other than of course their size and in turn their light output. At 6500 Kelvin, the two foot outputs 430 lutz at one meter, whilst the four foot version comes in at 719 lutz. Both lights are rated at CRI of 95 and for mounting, straight out of the box, you get these little see-through clamps that house two quarter 20 threads so you can adapt these to most grip gear. And you also get these little metal cables which screw together so you can easily hang these lights on pretty much anything you can find. So let's jump into the menu system. We have a very small little screen there that displays the menu and all the settings. And in terms of navigating that menu, on the end, the same end where the screen is, there are two rotary knobs and that's how you really jump about in all those different settings. We've also got quick function buttons on the side here for shortcuts for the different modes that I'm about to walk you through. So the first one is if you've ever used any sort of light, you will be familiar with this mode, it's CCT, which is basically just color temperature mode. Now, one thing that I have noticed is that there isn't a green or magenta shift available in this menu system, which is a bit of a shame, but you know, you've just got to keep in mind the price of this fixture. Now, the next mode is HSI, and that's the mode that I had it on at the beginning of this video. It's where you can literally dial in whatever hue, saturation, and the intensity of light that you want. What's quite nice as well is if you were using this light with any other RGB lights that are out there, let's just say, you know, the Kina Flow range, for example, you should be able to just dial in the same HSI settings in this menu as what you've got on one of their lights, and in theory, they should match. But yeah, in this mode, you can pretty much create any sort of color hue that you would like to. And then we've got some built-in special effects. So in these lights, we do have Storm, Police Car, candlelight, strobe, cycle, and randomly we've also got an SOS mode. So if you get caught out in some desert island because you're playing this crash and whatnot, you're the only survivor and you do have your lights in your luggage, then you can use this to try and get some help apparently with that SOS mode on there. <laughs> so let's go back through the menu. What else have we got? We do have some controls for the address of this light. When I say address, we're talking about hooking multiple ones of this, I'm gonna turn that off because that is gonna drive me mad. <laughs> I'm on about when you've got multiple lights hooked together. So what we can do at one end where there is a power connector, there's also a input and output connector port so you can connect multiple of these lights together. The idea is you set one of them to your master, the rest to the slave, you just control the master and that will be replicated across all the other slave lights within that chain, which is actually quite nice. Again, remember the price of this thing, getting that sort of functionality is pretty good for the money that you're paying. And finally, we've got a battery status indicator. Yes, you heard that right. These lights have got a built-in rechargeable battery. Now, it's the same size battery for both lights, doesn't matter which size you get, which is a bit of a shame because you kind of want a bigger one in the four-foot version. But nevertheless, it is a 14.8 volt, 2200 milliamp rechargeable battery in there. Now, you charge that up by, obviously, when you plug it into your main supply, it will power the light, but also it will trickle charge that battery. So when you unplug it, you can just run completely free from any cables, which is really, really nice. Imagine being on set, you know, if you want to hang these about, have them in shot, awkward places, it just means that you don't need to worry about having to trail power cables everywhere, which is really, really versatile. Uh, thing to have. So in terms of the runtime, I looked online on the Nanguang website trying to find out how long, you know, these lights will run off a single charge and they just said two to three hours with no indication of, you know, how intense these lights are running. So I had to do a little test with this two foot version. I ran it at 100% intensity, uh, 6500 Kelvin, which is the brightest output for this light. 
and that got me just above two hours. I think it was two hours and four minutes uh, that these ran till to run out. Um, so if you're running it for less uh, in terms of intensity, you know, at 50%, you're gonna get quite a bit more. Uh, but as in a general, I think just go with the idea that these will run for two hours off a single charge, and then you know you're gonna play it safe. But yeah, having a built-in battery at this sort of price point, I think is pretty awesome. So overall, yeah, you know what? I think these are really cool lights. You know, like I say, this is 260 pounds just for this two foot version. And having this sort of thing in your kit bag, because let's be honest, it doesn't take up a massive amount of space. It doesn't cost you that much. And to be able to take it to shoots and just put them in the background, have them as practical lights, or you could actually use this as a key light. I'll just cut to another shot here. You can see where I've just used this two foot light to, to light myself in this situation. That you can see, you know, it is quite soft. And of course you could have multiple of these all rigged together to create one bigger, softer light if you want to. Like I say, they're, they're pretty versatile. But anyway, tell me what you think. I just wanted to show you guys, just in case you haven't seen these ones by Nanguang. If you want some more information on them, then just head over to our website, uh, and obviously you can find out all about them there. Or if you've got a question, drop them in the comments and I will get back to you. Hopefully you've liked this video. If you have, hit like, hit subscribe, that'd be amazing. And I shall see you next time.